Oh, hello and welcome to Asta's Place. I have had so many requests for information on how to do this and how to do that. And I'm just so delighted that you're starting to call on me on a regular basis because that is what I'm here to do. So I'll just put that down there because I've just had a little note from Diane and Diane wants to know how to glam up some her clothes for, you know, going from daytime to nighttime. Well, I've come up with a couple of solutions for you. Now, this is um, what she sent me, and unfortunately, oh, I couldn't find that bit of, of um, like glammy, sparkly stuff. But what I did find was this stuff here, which I thought was very, very nice as a trim. So today I'm gonna to show you three things that you can do with this. And the first is going to be this headband. Isn't this just lovely? Like a little bit of glam for going to a ball or going out or meeting your Prince Charming. To begin, I've just what I did was I went and found just a little plain headband and you're now going to need a little bit of um, self-sticking or double-sided tape, which I'm just going to put onto there like that and then you just bring that around there like that and for those of you who are looking at me and thinking what on earth has she done to her face I just need you to know I had a bit of an accident with a yucca and an oyster shell path which was not very pleasant however I won and I got to walk away right put that take that there and then go all the way around and push that firmly into place then very carefully lift your back oops lift your backing tape off like so, oops, that I can't see. Right, there we are, lift that off like that, because we don't want that, and then get this, where's my end? There is my end, and then just put that onto there. Now, for safety purposes, you could put some PVA glue down, but I've been wearing mine for days and nothing has happened to it, so you don't need to put any PVA glue down. You could, if you, well, you might even be thinking, well, why don't I just use the hot glue gun? But the thing with the hot glue gun is that it doesn't dry as clear, it's not as good a finish as what this is. Then when you get to that other end, just cut that off, and then you might just have to push that down like that until it actually firmly fixes and adheres to that tape. How quick and easy is that? So that's one thing that you can do in glamming up something. The other thing that you can do is I've got these shoes and I don't even know why I bought these shoes because I've only worn them a couple of times. I think it's because they're a bit too high, I don't know. But what I've done with those is I've done the double-sided tape plus I've used the PVA glue and I've put that around the edge. The other thing that you could do with it, and where did my pins go? Here are my pins, I'll show you what you can do. Because this has got a little bit of fabric round here, you could actually hand stitch this into place. Where's my end gone? Here it is. And I'll just turn that around like so. I it, Either or, just a little bit at that end, or starting from this end here, what you could do is you could run that all around there and then just hand stitch that or use the glue again and place that around there. I did try it by, with using the double-sided tape, but it was a bit of a waste of time doing that. So that could all be hand stitched around there, which I think could be very, very lovely. So let's just have a look at that. Now, when you get to going around the corner you're just going to have to adjust that so that that will go around there nice and neatly so that's two ideas and the other idea that I thought was really really lovely is getting a little black jersey I've got this lovely little black cardi here and just to glam that up what you could do is get this and then you could just pin this, this here, you can't use a sewing machine um, but you can hand sew that on so just putting that onto there like that and you could sew or as I said hand sew all of those around the collar or the neck edge of your jumper. Now when you get up to, because this stretches and this doesn't stretch, what you might find you have to do, hold on, I'll just go up to here so that I can explain a bit further what I'm doing. So when you're doing it, just make sure that it's all sitting neat and tidy. When you get to go around the corner, like I'm do, getting to do here, just put that down onto there like that and then take that pin through like so, and pin it on before you start. Right, around this neck edge, what I suggest you do is gently pull that out 
ever so slightly. You don't need much of a pull, but just a little bit of a pull and then put that on so that when that goes on the body, it will actually sit flat against and around that neck. Because if you don't do that, what might happen is that this might pull and this might get all distorted. So you're just going to have to work out how much of a bit of pull you need into that. But more pull is going to be better. But isn't that just the easiest way of just glamming something up? I've got lots and lots and lots of more ideas of things that we can do when it comes to glamming up clothes. So I hope that I have been of assistance. I really love things like that because you just imagine plain black trousers, little wee cami underneath and that on the top and you can go to the Ritz. Okay, th I hope I've been of assistance to not only Pam but everybody else out there that wanted to know what to do in glamming up clothes and I will see you another day.